So now you're teaching him how to think and how to solve problems. The worst thing you can do is come in and tell him what the solution is. You're making it easy for him to go into an autonomous state to know if I've got a problem, I just call Jack. Now that's fine when it's just you and Mitch, but when you start having two, and three, no four, five, yeah. 20 tradesmen, good luck. That will consume your time. So like you're saying, you want your people to feel as though they have the freedom to make decisions themselves, to think yeah. freely and come up with their own solutions. That's really, really powerful. Not giving them the solution, but going, what do you think would happen? You have to start doing at the start to start transitioning them into that phase because right now they might not have much free think but you start asking those questions now you're getting to think oh this is how jack thinks about the situation because he might say one thing at the start and you go oh but what about what if this happened oh i didn't even think about that yeah so this would be a better solution exactly right man you're 100 yeah. right that's that's the best way that's how i would personally do it so now you're teaching him how to think and how to solve problems. Because you know yeah. you're an A player, you know how you solve problems, you know that every problem you solve is gonna be solved in the best way possible. Mitch as an apprentice isn't like that, so teach him how he needs to think about these problems. <laughs>